Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is special. Today's video kicks off a series of videos that I'm bringing out in the lead up to the 2019 Rugby World Cup. Rugby is a huge passion of mine. I'm from New Zealand. Uh, it's a national sport. It's the culture. It's ingrained in the culture. Recently I have embarked on another journey into the world of American football. I've tried my best over the last 18 months to bridge the two sports as much as possible. I see so many similarities between the game of rugby and, and the game of uh, American football. It's just that, you know, whether you're on either side, it's, it's extremely difficult to give the time needed to really develop the knowledge needed to start to understand either game. And I think I'm getting there. And I think I may be, you know, one of the first especially on YouTube to have done that. So I'm really proud of myself. Today's video is kicking off uh, a, a series and uh, the series of videos I've actually grabbed from this absolute gem that I picked up at a second hand store for a dollar. Legends of All Blacks Rugby. Okay, the All Blacks are the New Zealand national rugby team and uh, this DVD was, was so awesome it was so well done and it brought back so many memories. I had goosebumps the entire time I watched it. I thought I have to bring this out for my YouTube audience to watch and enjoy. So after delving deep into the world of NFL and American football, one thing I have noticed is the documentation. The history of the game has been documented so well. And because of that, you know, they have so much footage to use to create more documentaries. And uh, look, when I watched this DVD, I thought, this is what rugby needs. I thought, rugby needs top 10 lists. Rugby needs top 100 lists. Rugby needs... Rugby needs just more documenting in general. And I think we're getting there. But the thing with American football is they started way back in the, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, documenting it. Actually making proper interviews. Um, and, and so the, the treasure trove of, of NFL footage is just endless and I'm loving it but today we're going to be talking about rugby the 2019 Rugby World Cup kicks off in one day literally today is uh, Thursday the 19th of September tomorrow Friday the 20th of September 20th of September um, the World Cup kicks off and I can't wait to watch it I haven't given up on rugby I haven't turned my back on the sport I still absolutely love it and so this video series is going to cover the top 10 greatest All Blacks of all time. That's what this DVD should have been called, but it's called Legends of All Blacks Rugby. So look, I don't claim to own any of this footage. I assume these videos aren't going to be monetized, but what I want to do is just over the next 10 videos, you're going to see 10 of the, the absolute legends of New Zealand rugby. And you're going to hear a little bit, you know, about, about what they were like. You're going to see some footage from them playing in good quality, which is, you know, fucking fantastic. I've tried to make, um, honestly, I've tried to make, I've, I've made tribute videos to probably about six out of the ten players on this DVD before on my channel. But I've only had access to the footage on YouTube that I can find. And usually it's in 240p or 360p and, you know, it's terrible. So... Watching through this, seeing the footage in, you know, HD, um, well, once it was capable of being in HD, the, the footage passed about, you know, 2008, anything before that was uh, a little bit grainy, but uh, you'll see all that. The 10 players, the top 10 players we're going to go through in no particular order are Daniel Carter, Richie McCaw. Colin Meads. <laughs> Daniel Carter, Richie McCaw, Colin Meads, Colin Pine Tree Meads, uh, Sean Fitzpatrick, Wayne Buck Shelford, Zinzan Brook, Christian Cullen. Who else we got here? Michael Jones, John Kerwin, and Jonah Lomu. What I will say is that the DVD was created in 2011. Uh, Daniel Carter and Richie McCaw have concluded their careers past that point. 
So we, we actually don't see their full career, but we do see, you know, the best part of it, up to the, up to the 2011 World Cup. I believe this, this DVD came out um, in conjunction with that. So, you know, I want to say sit back, relax, enjoy. These are the 10 greatest All Blacks of all time. And, uh, you know, I was trying to put together a video series like that, but, I mean, I can't top the footage that I've found on this DVD. So, enjoy the World Cup. I will be reacting to some videos. Um, that's what this channel has been about recently, reacting, my, giving my reactions to, you know, rugby and American football as, as a rugby player, as a rugby nut. I fucking love it. And that's never going to fade. So the first guy that's up is Daniel Carter. He's going to be in the next video. Uh, following that, Richie McCaw, and uh, the list goes on. The top 10 greatest All Blacks of all time, in no particular order, starts now. Enjoy. The middle, classic hooker start, it's Fitzpatrick over the corner. Jones, under the posts! Xinjiang Brook, it's a third try for New Zealand. Here's Jonah Lomu, Lomu, unstoppable! Marvellous one, and Colin for his third try. Spectacle. The All Blacks are more than just a rugby team. They are a worldwide symbol of excellence and sporting prowess. They have become the team that all the other rugby nations measure themselves against and are regarded year in, year out as the most consistent team in the world. In fact, the ultimate test team. Not only are they the leading point scorers of all time, but they are the only international rugby team with a winning record against every test nation they have ever played. New Zealand have held the top ranking in the world for longer than all the other countries combined. And in over 100 years, only five of the top 20 ranked rugby test nations have ever beaten them. And so our visitors make a real flying start, and it seems it will take an extra good side to beat them. Rugby, to a New Zealander, is more than just a sport. It is a measure of their national well-being.